Hello there. Today uh, we're going to uh, use the method binary search to search elements in a, in an array. So first of all, we will need a sorted array that's going to look something like this. And then after that, we're going to use the method that can be found inside the arrays class. So for that, we're going to need to import this whole package java util arrays and then we're going to use this binary method this binary search method and this method has two arguments the name of the array and the element that you want to find the output of this method is going to be the index of this value in this case it's going to be zero and then Let's see for other cases. Let's see if we want to find 10. I mean, we want to find 5. And then if we want to find 10. So we're supposed to get for the first one, 0, because it's in a position 0. For the second one, 2, because it's in a position 2. And the same for, <coughs> for 10. We, uh, we should get 5 because it's in position 5. Ahora, let's see a case where the element uh, we're trying to find is not in the array. For example, let's see, uh, let's try to find 12 and let's see what happens. So, as you can see, we're getting 7. And you're probably asking yourself why we're getting this 7. So, the simple answer is that in order to preserve order um, this 12 will need to be placed at the end right we know that the index the last index is 5 so what java does is just okay if we want to preserve order it will need to be on the in the position 6 right so java does the converts the index to a negative and then subtracts 1 and as you know, this is going to be equal to negative 7, and Java returns this value. Okay, let's see in that case, let's see another example. Let's see if we're trying to find 9. Okay, we're getting 6, so let's see. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In order to preserve further, we will need to place this 9 over here. On the in the position uh, five, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So Java, remember, takes the negative. So it's going to be five minus five minus one is going to be equals minus seven. I mean minus six, and that's that's why we're getting this value. Okay. So I hope this video helped you to understand how this method works, and see you next time. Bye-bye.